Hello there, this is FairBinaryOptions.com and we are continuing our <coughs> Binary Options Academy uh, project if you want on our website if you go on FairBinaryOptions.com you have the, a button there on the top menu on the right uh, on the right top menu uh, being called uh, Academy now on this Binary Options Academy we are looking at different uh, technical analysis uh, setups and uh, patterns and also fundamental analysis interpretation in order to provide to you with the best tools to trade the binary options and this time it is um, my pleasure to introduce to you the all important now waterfall effect it is being called so what is a waterfall effect like the mention like the name suggests this applies to a bearish market so to a market that is falling but because we are living here in the trading world with bullish and bearish trend the exactly this exactly the same principle can be applied actually to a um, to a market that is rising but for the sake of keeping the name as it is the waterfall effect we'll look at it on um, on this let's say um, on a trend to the downside now from a, a purely theoretical point of view a waterfall effect that is being formed out of three different corrective ways or three different corrections if you want so you'll have a first correction that is being made either as a flat or a zigzag or stuff like that then you have an X way which should be another corrective way uh, let's say that you have an X wave. Then you should have a move or a second correction that should relate with 61.8 with the first correction. Then you will have another X wave, stuff like that. And then the last corrective wave will be either a triangle or another flat. Let's say it's going to be a triangle, like it is the example here on the Euro US dollar. And by the moment that this one ends, this would be the whole. Uh, the whole corrective uh, corrective wave. Now, the waterfall effect refers to three different corrections that should have a Fibonacci internal Fibonacci interpretation. So this would be the first correction. This would be the second corrective wave. This should be the third correction here all of them linked all of them linked by x waves or another corrective waves but as you can see here all these three corrective waves have different legs different legs now according to the interpretation of the waterfall effect so let me write here on the screen what is this waterfall effect like this so according to the interpretation the standard interpretation the second correction or this one here needs to relate or it goes approximately 61.8 percent when compared with the first or out of the first correction so what do you need to do is to measure the length of the first correction with the Fibonacci retracement then to just go and look 61.8 add the 61.8 at the end of the first corrective wave and you'll have an educated guess about the level that the second correction ends so it depends very much on the time frame that you are uh, seeing the waterfall effect happening like it is here on the four hour chart by the time you are, you are interpreting the second correction uh, to end here then you don't want to buy put options anymore because we are looking for an X wave or a corrective wave now on the four hour chart the next wave like this or like this um, will take uh, some time but nevertheless it would be a, uh, a bullish uh, a bullish pattern and it will uh, implies call options and not put options moving forward now the third correction according to this waterfall effect is being formed out of 30 uh, so uh, you'll have on the first correction you're looking for 61.8 out of the first corrective wave and then on the, the last correction we are looking at 38.2 point two percent when compared
when compared with the first correction as well, but this put on top of the second correction here. So you'll have one major move here and one major move here. Let me actually uh, add a uh, short trend line. So from here to here, like this, would be the the move that will take out of the first correction and then of course 38.2 will be this one here out of the first correction. Now this would be the standard interpretation so every time you have a uh, price coming into that area and depending at the moment you will like to buy uh, call options. Of course if it ends with the triangle like it seems to be the case here on the euro US dollar if it ends with the triangle then we'll just go and buy uh, call options by the time the B2D trend line is uh, going to be broken. This was the first part. Stay tuned on the second part in order to put all this into here and then uh, to uh, make a conclusion based on this waterfall effect.